Welcome everyone. Today we are continuing on in our intro to Reduce series. In this video, we're going to implement the array map method using Reduce. The prerequisites for this video are just having a basic understanding of JavaScript as well as ES6 style arrow functions. So to start us off, we need to review the array map method. So let's write a simple example of that now. The array map method takes a function as input. Map will then use this function and pass each element of the array through it to transform the elements one by one. Here, our transformation function involves adding one to whatever is passed in. So one will be passed in and return two, and two will be passed in and return three. The map method then returns a new array with the transformed elements. In this case, the result will be an array with two and three in it. So, how can we implement map in terms of reduce? Well, let's think about the things that map needs. It needs an array of elements, and it needs a transformation function. That seems like a good place to start. So, let's write a function called map that takes these things as input and then call it below. So let's recap what reduce takes as input. It accepts two parameters, a reducing function and an accumulator. I'll talk about the accumulator first. The way we determine what the accumulator should be is based on the data type of the output we expect. So in this case, the function will return an array because the map method also returns an array. So the accumulator will be an empty array. Next comes the reducing function. So the accumulator at first will be the empty array, and the current value will be the first element of the array, which will be one in our case. So we know that the reducing function will return a new accumulator, and since that will be an array, we should put the current value onto the accumulator using concat. But wait, we said we wanted to transform the elements in the array, so we need to pass them through the function that we passed in. So there it is. We've implemented map in terms of reduce. To reiterate, reduce has two parameters, a reducing function and an accumulator. The reducing function should accept an accumulator and a value and return a new accumulator. That's generally going to be the same data type as the initial accumulator that's specified. Well, I hope that helps some of you gain a deeper understanding of what Reduce is capable of. I'll be continuing to release videos in this series, which will range from small examples like this to using more real-world data. So if you have any questions, leave me a comment below. And if you liked the video, please consider subscribing, liking, and hitting that bell icon. Thanks, everyone.